Hey everyone, I'm Efren Barraza, Service Manager at Laboratory Instrument Specialist. Here at LIS, we specialize in servicing and selling various laboratory equipment, such as moisture microwave analyzers, moisture balances, scales, fat and protein analyzers, and many more. You can find our website, lissci.com, down in the description. In this video, we will be showcasing the Old House MB series. The very first model we have here is the MB301, originally released in the mid 80s. The 301 was designed to be versatile, accurate, and easy to operate. This unit uses a lamp as a heating source, which we are unfortunately missing. It is a very old unit after all. The successor to the MB301 was the MB200. Released sometime in the 90s, is the last to have this giant disc tray and the first to use an infrared heating source. Next in the series is the MB45 and 35. Released in 2000 and 2002, these were the first of the modern looking designs as well as the first to use a halogen heating source designed to be twice as fast as their infrared counterparts. This unit also included a fully programmable front panel and let you store up to 50 different sampling methods to make testing a variety of products easier. The latest models in the MB series are these four models here. The MB23, MB27, MB90, and MB120. The MB23 uses an infrared coil as its heating source, while the 27, 90, and 120 all use a halogen lamp. As I mentioned earlier about the halogen heat source being faster than the infrared, the sample applies to these three models being faster than the MB23. They are also much more accurate with the ability to read 1 one hundredth of a percentage per one milligram in moisture content, while the MB23 does 1 tenth of a percent per 10 milligram. Now I want to quickly show you how to operate them. To preface, the operation handling for both the MB23 and 27 are the exact same. And the same goes for the MB90 and MB120. However, the MB120 does have a couple of added software features called Switch Off Criteria and the Smart Temperature Guide, which will allow you to get much more accurate results when using the device on a variety of samples. It could also store up to 1,000 test results and 100 drying methods, while the MB90 will only sort 100 test results and two drying methods. We're going to need a few items before we begin. First, we will need an aluminum sample dish. Second, the product we will be performing the test on, which in this case is our standard solution with 10% sodium chloride. Lastly, our glass fiber sample pads. Pads are important as they will speed up the drying process by up to one and a half times. These pads are cut and packaged in our own warehouse. You can find all these items as well as a couple different sizes of aluminum dishes and glass fiber pads on our website. Links will be in the description. We will now be testing on the O-House MB27 using an aluminum dish and sample pad. Insert the sample pad on the aluminum dish. Open up the lid on the MB27. Remove the sample holder and insert the aluminum dish through the side of the sample holder. Insert sample holder in the cavity. Close the lid and press the T for tear. Once it shows zeros, Open the lid and apply your sample. It is best to distribute the sample evenly along the sample pad to give you better and accurate results. Once done so, close the lid and press the triangle button to start the test. Now we'll be testing on the MB120. You will need an aluminum dish and glass sample pad. You would apply the sample pad on top of the aluminum dish, open up your lid, insert the aluminum dish and pad on the center of the balance, close the lid. The MB120 has an automatic tear feature. As soon as you close the lid, it will zero out the aluminum dish and sample pad. Open up the lid and apply your sample. For best results, please distribute the sample evenly on the sample pad. When done so, close your lid, and it will automatically begin the test. Now that the test is complete, the MB27 will give you a continuous beat 
until you remove the sample or press the tear button. The MB120 will beep once and record the test result into its library and hold it there for you for future reference. When test is complete, open the lid, use the sample holder, throw away your sample. You can then prep for the next sample by applying a new aluminum dish, set and press the tear button, which will zero out the dish and allow you to start the next test. And that's it. If your product needs servicing or you want to purchase any lab equipment, make sure to visit our website and search our product inventory or contact us directly at info at lissci.com. Links are down in the description. Want to check out a more in-depth video on each individual balance? Check out our channel for more. We'll be releasing more videos on the various products we service and sell at LIS. If you enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.